What is good Foundation Nation and welcome to yet another disc review. Today we're going to be checking out the Elevation Disc Interceptor. Let's get into it. Ah! Alright, so we had heard about this disc and uh, placed an order with them, got them in, and this is how I'd always seen it. Just a picture of it, I had heard it explained as a rubber disc, all of that. So I was in my head expecting like Vibram. Well, this thing is the floppiest disc I've ever seen in my life. So um, before we got into the review, I want to just read you from their site uh, explanations as to why it's like that. Basically they're saying their disc is floppy by choice, obviously. Since we hit something on 100% of our throws, ground, a tree, your paddle decided to walk through a disc before you threw, it's important that your approach dot disc sticks where it lands. And then the next, next tab is about durability. Uh, elevation discs are made from high grade rubber polymer, similar to material used in car tires, shoe soles, airbags. I'd read all of this before. Again, I was, well, I hadn't read the floppy part. I'd heard about the durable rubber. That's why I was thinking Vibram in my head. They said they're committed to elevating every disc golfer's game through a modern, high quality design unmatched by what's currently available on the market and then uh, talk about their customer service. Uh, it's a small family run business, which is super cool. Uh, small business, just getting started. The Interceptor, this is their first disc. It is PDGA approved. That was like the first thing that I heard. I've thrown this a hand, a, like very small handful of times. Uh, we took them to a uh, vending event recently and let people have a test model. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. When I pick it up, I don't, I don't, I don't like this personally. I just, I, this isn't, this isn't for me, this gumminess, but I'm gonna try to ignore that and just focus on the feel, the flight, uh, and if it does what it's intended to do, which is hit and stick. So the whole reason you would want something like this is you don't want it to roll. It's super windy out here. I don't know how that's gonna affect it because like if I face it towards the wind, it like <laughs> pushes it down. Um, whereas if I'm just like holding it. Uh, so I don't know how that's gonna affect like in flight, if it's gonna like bend it. I don't know, I don't know what to expect. I don't really know what what I'm doing out here. But we're gonna throw this thing and um, I'm gonna try to give you my full, honest review. Really quick thing about the start founder of this company. If you remember our 3D printed disc video, he's actually the guy that made those. So that's super cool, but I'm not gonna let that affect my opinion of this disc. I like the guy, I like the idea, but this is gonna be my full, honest review of this disc. So let's just start it off. I'm gonna go one backhand, one forehand. Uh, it's kind of a little left to right headwind action. Um, so we're gonna start off with, with the backhand here. I'm not gonna throw it super hard. Uh, I don't think I can power grip it. I think I'm gonna have to fan grip it. Like, why am I trying to fan my hand? What is, okay. Okay, right, so that was super straight. It, 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 it did warp in the air. I'm not smart enough to know what that does to the flight. One thing that I would be concerned is if it doesn't warp the same way every flight, like does that change it? Like if the next flight it bends up instead of down, does it fly different? I don't know, we'll see as the video goes on. Now we'll try the forehand here. Okay, that one flew a little more over Sable. On the site they said the flight numbers are 5403. Does it, I mean, it, I guess I could see where it'd be a five speed. Uh, doesn't seem that overstable to me from those two throws, but uh, let's just throw it a few more times and we'll talk about it some more. All right, I'm gonna throw both of these back to my bag uh, backhand. I didn't really like the feel forehand. So I'm just gonna go backhand and try to just get it back to my bag, see what we can do. Okay, that, that sucked. I don't really know what happened, but it kind of looked like it bent forward instead of like this way, which I think like, maybe it was like the headwind pushed down I don't know, something happened. And that one's stuck, <laughs> you hear it hit the ball? <laughs> that one's stuck onto my hands. I, I wanna give it, I wanna, like those first two throws were like the best throws I could give this thing. So I wanna continuously give it the best throws I can give it, but um, those two were not it. All right, I really wanna give this like the best, best shot possible because I don't really like it right now, but I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna not like it. I want to like it. I just don't know if it's possible. 
So this time I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like grip and rip. I'm gonna try to just to, to mash this thing. I'm gonna go power grip. I'm gonna try to give it height and just, just see what it's capable of. I'll throw two power. That way we have two shots at it, it being, at it doing something here. Okay. Okay. Wasn't well, bad. It stayed on hyzer. It held pretty true. This time we're gonna try throwing it flat and seeing what it does flat. I didn't throw it flat, threw it on a little hyzer. Still held pretty true. That, th those two throws made me like it a little more. But it seems like when I'm throwing this way, it works. But when I throw it back, it doesn't. I think if I throw it on a hyzer, I can just get it to land where my bag is. Okay, that was short. I'm getting used to it. But one thing I can't get used to, it kind of like, it wants to hold on to you when you're throwing, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, that does make sense. So like when I reach back, like sometimes I can like feel it moving and I like feel like it like, it wants, it wants me. <laughs> it, just, it just wants to stay in my hands. It doesn't want me to release it. So that kind of like is a, I also, I hate trying to bite, like that's not doing anything. Try to get this back to the bag. I'm, I'm gonna throw it on Annie. We haven't thrown any on Annie yet. I'm gonna throw it on Annie. <laughs> Wow, it came out. It's kind of dropped. For some reason, those throws didn't, didn't warp. So maybe the warping's like bad technique. Like maybe it's when I do something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That fell out of my hand. Okay, so these are kind of be like my final thoughts. I think that I'm just not the target market for this disc. I'm not a fan of even like G-Star plastic or like classic soft plastic. Soft plastic just isn't my jam. So when I have a disc that can literally do this, I, just, I don't think I'm ever gonna like it. It just, it feels like it just wants to hold onto my hand. I think there's gonna be people out there that do like it. Uh, one of its biggest claims to, fame, claims to fame is that it like it can't roll. This is just a Champ Thunderbird, right? This is an interceptor. <laughs> Science. So if you really have like trouble throwing hyzers into side hills and it rolling away on you or stuff like that and you're just, you're looking for something, you're looking for something that might solve that, this could be it. If you don't mind the gumminess, I mean, I just have a hard time like holding it personally. Like that slipped out a little bit. It still kind of flew good. I don't know, I just, I really, I can't get a good feel for this disc. Uh, they're available on our site. Personally, if I had to tell you like my full honest opinion, I don't think I would ever bag this. I couldn't see a like a serious player, like professional bagging this. Just because it just, it kind of feels when you pick it up and you're holding it, it kind of feels like a toy. Like it feels like a really fun like catch disc. It feels like a really fun like play around the house, you know, type of a disc. Um, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't feel to me, it's just too floppy. It's too flimsy, uh, but I get I get the purpose. I don't know. Like I understand it. It flies pretty good when you can throw it. I just it's just not meant for me. If you're one of those people that really likes a super gummy bendable disc, you want something that's gonna hit and stick every time, and you know you like what you just saw, then the link is in the description below. They're available on our site. Uh, they're definitely kind of like a fun disc to at least get and try out and I mean when you pull it out and you're holding it and the thing like sags like if nothing else is a good conversation starter like a weekly pull it out flop it around a little bit and then everyone in your car is like what the heck is that <laughs> what the heck are you holding there and you're like it's my disc it's my interceptor uh you know that's a good conversation starter so if nothing else you might be able to make some friends out of it have some fun with it um but yeah like I said links in the description below if you want to shop it and we'll see you in the next one